today we are going to find out if Lost Ark is the best modern MMO. Or at least if it's fun. Right away I'm greeted by this big man with a sword who was waiting for me. So I chose him as my character. Character creation was pretty fun. I had some nice options to choose from. Look, I can even be Vigo from Ghostbusters 2. My females can even resemble Kristen Stewart from the mega smash hit Twilight. The voice options were alright. After I made my character, I learned that I'm the hero of the arena after killing Thrall from the super duper smash hit World of Warcraft. Then some lady tells me I'm not only the hero, but I'm the chosen one. That's right. Me. I then crossed this big galactic bridge which led me to the Tome of Prophecy. My class selection. I chose Berserker and the tutorial officially began. I was pretty excited. My adventure was starting, the sound design is nice, it was running smooth, and it's beautiful. Then I meet Gurkha. Call me Gurkha. Right away I can see that Gurkha is misunderstood. Damn it all. Move quickly! Defend the camp! He ordered me to defend this camp and bust up some bad guys. This is where I got a glimpse of the combat in Lost Ark for the first time. It took a minute to get used to as someone who hasn't played many action RPGs, but it felt more satisfying and natural than what I played. After that I talked to this man named Morpheus who looked like an Arden from Final Fantasy fan. I think it's already too late for these people. This guy is bad news. I progressed a little more and Morpheus started whining. I can't believe you destroyed the bridge. But Gurkha put him in his place. Don't whine at me! Did you have a death wish? It had to be done! See, he's good people. Towards the end of the tutorial, things went south. Look! Treasure! Everyone got greedy and the demons showed up. But with the power of anime and Gurkha on my side, it was no problem. Damn. Look at this man spinning his blades. What are you doing? The guy with the sword makes the rules, kid. That's right, subscribe, come on. And this is the moment that sold me on the game. Grab the stone, it looks valuable. The zoom. Then it turned into that scene from The Mummy when the explorers opened up that ancient treasure and died to a curse. I wanted to help Gurkha. Get back. <laughs> but Morpheus stopped me. I really hate this guy. So then this big portal opened up and I entered it. I made my way to the end and found what Morpheus wanted. That's the security system. See? Now the big bad boss is here. Take that stupid Morpheus. I fought the boss and enjoyed the battle. I beat it and it got me excited for more content. The tutorial was wrapping up and I finally got the big reveal. Morpheus was in fact a bad guy. Crazy. But one more thing happened after this. I met the world's most talented horse that I'll call Misha. Misha was fast like lightning, strong like baby, agile like gazelle. And now he's dead. <laughs> okay, so some quick final thoughts. Overall, I think Lost Ark's a very fun game. It's got a lot of potential, but it can definitely be overwhelming, especially if you've never played an MMO before. But for me, part of the fun was just exploring the interface and seeing what the game had to offer. There's a couple things that'll probably turn new players away. One of those being that it's a top-down action RPG. The other, microtransactions. But, as far as I know, everything balances out towards the end, especially once you get to the tier 3 content. And most of it's just cosmetics and catch-up mechanics, which I don't think catch-up mechanics are necessarily a problem if they're done right and they don't get out of hand. Lastly, I'm excited for this game's future. I think it's going to be around for a long time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more Lost Art content, let me know in the comments below and subscribe for more. Okay, bye!